You welcome to this YouTube channel, a channel where you get to see a defining and soul lifting content. You can be a blessing to us and to others by subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification bell to get notified when we drop a new video. You can also like, share and comment on our videos. Thank you very much. God bless you.
Kandi Shanga, the high priest of the covenant. I cannot come over now because there's still much to be done. But this is the blood and sweat of Peter Bella. They save it. I must do the work of he that sent me while it is day. The night comes when no man walks. <laughs> What have I done? Why are you running after me? You are a debtor. Your blood is needed in our bank. You have to make donations in our blood bank now. Donations? So who? Let's go and do it. Donations to who? Uh, what do you need them for? Donations? I don't understand what you're talking about! Oh, please! Please! No! No! Considering the statistical analysis, presented here, I could deduce that um, we are already having financial crisis in this company. Sir, it's, it's obvious. It's, it's a general problem. That could be a result of the current economic meltdown experience in the country. But with little input here and there, we should be able to get out of this in no time, sir. Hmm. I pray so. Okay, sir. Uh, uh, sir. So I don't know if you have taken time to uh, regard the EU of the loan I requested for. I will need the money to make some important offers at this time, sir. Honestly, 300,000 Naira would be too much for us to release for now because of our financial crisis. But we, we can approve 100,000 if that we do. Hello? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Lambert from Portacourt is here to see you, sir. Okay. Oh, please let him in. Okay, sir. Mr. Lambert is around. Oh, Mr. Lambert. He's a regular client. You may go in, sir. Oh, thank you, MC. I'll see you when I come. Yeah. Let, let me see whether he's here with... Um... I pray so. At least that way he's up for this financial burden. Let me return to my table, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Mr. Lambert this morning? Yes, he just left for the CEO's um, office. Didn't you see him on your way out? Mr. Lambert of Paracord? Yes, sir. You can continue to it. Alright, sir.
What are you doing here? I'm expecting to see Mr. Lambert from Otako. It's been long. You have donated your blood to the coffin. And Jezebub complained that you have been avoiding her. So how do you fulfill your continual pledge of blood without touching her? I am sick and tired of this kind of lifestyle. Each time I sleep with her, I feel light-headed like something is leaving my body. No more feelings. No more feelings. See, you cannot avoid her now. You have tasted from my juice once and you shall forever continue to drink. That is how you get your blood. Oh my God. But, but I... And that's why I have come. So you can donate manually. You are starving our bank of your blood and you are a regular customer. Try as much as possible to get more people to bank with us and you get promoted and you may not have to donate your blood always again. Dr. Mike. Mr. Kings. What one is left? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What one is left? Uh, well, um, oh, but I'm not feeling too good. Wow. So I feel I should come and do my usual checkup. It's maybe stress. I see. Um, you should always try to fix some rest. Okay. You should not overwork yourself. Uh, how is uh, Johnson and his mom? Everybody is fine. But, Dr. Mike, what would you think about changing this, your building, or get it another one? one? <laughs> well, except you loan me some money, because equipping the medical center is no child's play. You know, but I know my God will provide. There you go again. My God will provide. Exactly. Where do I have? You know, I always tell you that heaven helps those who help themselves. So the Bible say. Bible? Yeah. Which Bible? What chapter? What verse? Um, I think uh, it's in the book of Judas, chapter 3. Mr. Kingsley! What? Judas! Okay. There's no Judas in the Bible. Uh, Where will you retain God in your mind? Uh, uh, well, uh, I only came here for a medical checkup. I've got uh, lots of tests. Thank you. Thank you. You have to take the time to write. It's all right. Great one, I just returned. This is the blood and sweat of another person. How many liters? It's Reverend Boyer's sample. When I check the blood department records, we have just one liter or more. Who is the agent in charge of Reverend Boyer? Agent? Not just one. Reverend Boyer is a regular customer, but he and he has so many agents working on him. Even some are from the World Blood Bank headquarters. Then, we can start to go through his life. He has endured a lot of benefit from us. Before you leave, mix this portion of arthritis and kidney disease in his blood. Let him start battling with this until his wealth comes down. Bahi, high priest. Kuali Shanga. The dream you told us is serious and it needs urgent attention. You were asked to donate blood or what? I don't understand. Seriously, mom, I don't understand too. 
I don't. My dear, you want to say something? Be quiet. <sighs> I'm really short of words. But I know all is well. Go take control. Dad. All can be well when we pray together as a family. God will take control of things that we commit into his hands. Then, commit it into his hands. Sir, I've done that severally. But there is power united prayer as a family. One will chase a thousand and two will chase ten thousand, sir. Then pray with your mother. You know I'm a busy type. My dear, how could you say that? You know this family is not a praying time. Except for our son who prays all the time. And this dream needs urgent action. We need to take action. Let's do this together, please. And with all his prayers, he still finds some people chasing him and collecting his blood in his dream. Hmm? Ah, honestly, I've lost my appetite. What? What? My dad? Dad. My dad? What is happening? Are they also running after my son? Or has he started sleeping with strange ladies? Oh, there is fire. Real fire. How are you? What have you come to do? <laughs> um, uh, why are you here again? What have you come to do again? I have stopped sleeping with your daughters. But the first encounter is enough right for me to keep coming into your world. Uh, please, uh, what, what have you come to do again? The last time you came here, you drained my blood and sweat to the point that I felt sick. I had to visit the hospital. The doctor categorically told me that my blood count was too low. I am on drug. Please, please. Don't drain me to skeleton, please, I beg of you. <laughs> Foolish generation! No matter the number of pills you swallow, you are just wasting your time. You cannot use a physical drug to treat a spiritual ailment. Neither can a physical physician diagnose a spiritual disease. Fruitless effort. Fruitless effort. We are hard on blood outreach. And we are running out of blood samples of great destinies. It is high time you introduced my daughters to your friends. Friends that trust your judgment. No, no, no. That can never happen. I am not going to do that. Then put your house in order for thou shalt die. Very soon. Ah, oh, 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 please, oh, oh, hold on a bit. Oh, my God, my God. Okay. Okay, um, no problem. You have just 48 hours.
Um, Joshua. Uh, uh, who? Your wife, sir. The secretary told me that she came in. Oh, oh, yes, yes. That, that, that's true. Uh, but, but she has gone. Oh, so soon. But, sir, anything a problem, sir? You look disturbed. Then you need to excuse me. Uh, um, uh, Joshua. Yes, sir. Are you engaged? No, sir. I'm still waiting on God, sir. Uh, because I have a new principal in this office now. Every single must be married to retain his job in this office. So rush. I can't rush, sir. If I rush, I will be crushed. Then, don't be disappointed if I fire you. Sir, if there are no disappointments, sir, there cannot be an appointment. It is only those who are fired that can be hired, sir. Get out of my sight. All right, sir. Get out of my sight! Yes, sir. You see what? You see what I'm saying? These people are chronic SUs. Dr. Mike, you should have been married by now. What are you still waiting for? You need an app mate. Well, you, you see, you've been talking about this thing for a long time, and I quite appreciate your concern, but let me tell you the truth. The truth is, I've been jilted twice. And then that sent a very strong signal to me that um, I have to be careful and to be very patient. And that's why I've been trying to take it easy. Otherwise, once beaten twice shy, I don't want to experience that kind of heartbreak anymore. So mm. that's why I'm taking things easy. I understand what you're saying. I understand. But I have this um, reliable sister, a good Christian. And uh, she told me that she has prayed and that God had led her to you. Ah. But she's just feeling shy to approach you. Unbalanced equation. I'm telling you. Why would God bypass me and go and talk to her? It doesn't work. <laughs> you see, Dr. Mike, the Holy Spirit has different dimensions to the way it works. Ah. Mm. And, and the good thing about it is that She's from a very rich family. And she has promised to support your business with a token of five million. Five, five million. what? Five million naira. Five million naira. With that, I believe you can equip your hospital to taste and you can even change your location. Because I, I see that you are a good doctor, but money is the problem. Well, he, he makes all things beautiful in his own time, but... What if the time is now? What if the time to make your life more beautiful is now? Or how else do you want to know? You see, the Bible says that heaven helps those who help themselves. I know it's not, it's, not, um, it's not from the Bible. The Bible didn't say it. It's just a, a philosophical um, hypothesis. I, I'm not saying what you are saying is... Um, ah. Just to start with Dr. Mike. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I'll pray about it. I'll pray about it. Please pray and think about it. I must thank you for understanding me. Ah. Uh -uh. You mean being the one to make the first? No, 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 no. Ah, that's not even. It's, oh, no, no, no. Don't even think like that. You see, see, the ways of God are beyond human understanding. God can pass someone to talk to another person about that someone. That's where God works. You know, you can't box God in a corner. You understand? 
I, 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 I must even thank God for bringing you into my life, you know. That short time that um, you've come into my life, it has been a very, very great blessing, you know. My God will continue to bless and increase you for me, Jesus. You know what, Mike? Yeah. I am missing you so much. Yeah. I just wish you can touch me. Uh, you're already touching me already. You're already touching me. I need your soft touch. I know, I know, no, no, I know, no, ah. No, no, uh, the, the Bible says marriage is honorable in the hall, and the bed undefiled. It, it says one mongers and adulterers that, 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 that God will judge. I, I, I don't want that. Oh, uh, yes. I'm sorry, I thought that it Oh. It's your love, but I'll wait. I love you too. I, I love you too. I want to know your house. Ah. Ah, my house. Ah. You see, my house is uh, under, there are things I want to put in. My house is not attractive at all. You know, it's not uh, good enough. Uh, the more reason why I should know the place. Maybe God can lay it upon my heart to do something even before our marriage. Mm. Uh, uh, if you insist. If you insist, Mr. Joshua. Oh, Miss Yemi, say good morning. What have I done? What is my offense? How do you mean? I made this on my table this morning. Termination of appointments? Why? There's a serious problem. There's a serious problem. And uh, I fear these companies are sick. But, manager, I am not responsible for the economic downturn of this company. Please, please help me beg him. Please. Yeah. Please. Um, Miss Yemisi, calm down. Calm down. I, I will try and talk to the CEO. I will try and talk to him. Just calm down. Please, just, just help me beg me. I can't just afford to lose my job. Please. All right, all right. You can go back to your table. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to him. All right. Please, I'm begging. I do hope you are not here because of Yemisi. Because my mind is made up. The financial stand of this company is gradually going down with many debts unsettled. If care is not taken, we will soon go bankrupt. But sir, when situation surrounds us like this, all we can do is to pray. This may be our only source of livelihood. Uh, solutions to life problem is not with man. It's beyond man understanding. Um, um, uh, manager, uh, I'm sorry. Right now, I'm in a fix, and I don't want to add to my problems. So, excuse me. And do remember to tell her to submit all the company's properties in her custody before she leaves. Yes, sir. God will not despise. If 
if you have just slept with an ordinary lady, your brokenness would have attracted forgiveness and pardon. <laughs> but you have just slept with Rikaya, ah! an agent of Kualishanga of Blood Bank Department. Why you? Why you? You sold your glorious destiny and blood for just five million naira. Ah! You are so cheap. Ah! <laughs> you were genuinely saved and sanctified, but money still had a grip on you. <laughs> About. Don't don't even try to pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. You know, you know, you 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 set me up with a prostitute, not even an ordinary prostitute, a possessed one for that matter. Uh, okay, Doctor Mike, please calm down, calm down. What has Rachel done for you? Her name is not Rachel. Uh, that, that, that's the problem. Her name is uh, her name is Re Rekaya. Her name is Rekaya. She came to my house, she seduced me, she, she, she slept with me. How dare you kiss me? Keep short! You fool. When has it become a crime to help a fellow brother? I recommended a sister to you, and you told me that you would pray. What was your response after prayer? You had your choice to make. Ate you with every fiber of my being. Just like a horse. I took you to the river. It was your choice to drink or not. You were so gullible to have slept with her without being married. I even thought that you are a serious Christian. Is that what your Bible taught you? So, 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 it's your game plan all along. Kingsley, I will deal with you. You have just stepped on the Python's tail. Watch your back, Kingsley. Watch your back. I will deal with you. I will deal with you, Master Leslie. You can do nothing. Nothing. Useless Christian. Christian without backbone. Nonsense. Malika. Charlton. Go and make. Portion of disagreement, sickness, and poverty with Kingsley blood sample associate vigorously while you chant the demons to effect it. Oh, Zubranta, Zabadi, Kaswakala. Bonjour, <laughs> au How he got into his house? Ah, uh, honor of 
Owner of which house? Will you get out of here now? Get out! Get out in Jesus' name! Get out! Get out! house. So tell me. I don't understand what you... You do! Don't tell me you don't. Stop shouting! Why will I stop shouting? Ah, you need to... Can't you see? The atmosphere of this house has changed. There are unseen forces that are, unseen forces that are living with us in this house. You are the happy guard of all the evil that is going on I in this house. I don't get you! You get me! So tell me what I need to know! But... Don't push me! What will you do? Tell me what I need to know. What's wrong with you? What the blood is wrong with me? Tell me what is going on here. Leave, no, leave, I will leave, not leave, leave you. Leave. I will not leave you. What rubbish is this? What rubbish is this? I will not leave you. I will not leave you. God, please. Talk to your mother. Talk to your mother. God, please. Don't talk to your mother. Don't talk to your mother. Mom, you don't need this. Mom, you don't need this. Don't talk to your mother. What is wrong with you? We are very sorry to have intruded into your you know, privacy and disagreement. Um, after we have gone, you might continue with your, you know, your fight. More grease to your elbows. We are from True Fund Microfinance Bank. We understand, based on records, that to borrow a huge sum of money from our bank. And for some times now, you have refused to pay. And since this property was used as a collateral, it has been sold to one Mr. Falawiyo, Daniel. What? Because the new occupant will be coming to this time to take over this painting. You see your life? Did you see your... Ah, you succeeded in ruining us in this house. You see? See what your daddy has done? Ah, Jesus. Please, for God's sake, can you give me some more time? I will ensure that I speak with your MD today, please. Uh, more time, you say? No, no, no. You, we don't have that luxury of time to give to you. Um, you see, this house has been sold. And uh, what has been done cannot be undone. And that's why we're here. So you might choose to continue with your current business. Do you see? You see your life? You succeeded in ruining us. See what happened has sold. Oh my God. Have mercy upon us in this family. Do we need your mercy, Lord? Lord, have mercy, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy. Your word says you will have mercy on whom you have mercy, Lord. Lord, have mercy on us in this family. We need your mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, please. I need blood, blood. I need blood, blood. I need blood in my bag. I. Blood, blood, I need blood, blood, I need blood in my back. I, I need blood, blood. Go and mix portion of disagreement and sickness into your blood. And as for Mike, monitor 
and control its blood. Put up prostasy. He stabilized his brain so he would make mistakes. <laughs> On his profession, we go. Yeah! been feeling feverish for some days now. That boy is sick. He doesn't eat too well these days. And when he does, he vomits it. And you are acting as if you are not aware or you are not concerned. I spend a lot on him, yet you are acting insensitively. Well, I took him for blood test today and Dr. Mike said... What? What? What did you just say? I said I took him to hospital, Dr. Mike. Is he not our family doctor? Did, did you say that you took him to Dr. Mike for blood test? Yes. What am I supposed to do? He's a family doctor. What? Ah. Ah. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just overreacted. Um, it's all right. No problem. I'll see Dr. Mike later today to ask for the result. I'll see him. No problem. So you said the stooling is like um, two or three times every day? Yes, sir. Okay. So the stooling, is it watery or...? Yes. What F... How dare you? What F want you? What's the problem? I fear we need to talk. It's important. As you can see, I'm busy with the patient. The patient can excuse us. And if you want me to start talking, so be it. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. Please um, take this to the nurse who directed you here. She will know what to do. I'm so sorry. And to what do we hold this uncontrolled visit? My wife told me that she brought my son here for a blood test. Huh? I demand to know what you did with his blood. Oh, I see. So that's what this is all about. Well. I deal with the blood of patients on a daily basis and then uh, since my own blood is not enough to satisfy the coven, I randomly submit uh, patients' blood once in a while. Moreover, this one is a special request. That's wickedness! You, you mean you submit innocent patients' blood to the coven? Who lured me to that coven? Who? Tell me, who? Who brought you to, the, to that, that same coven? Okay, okay. Tell me, what about my son's blood sample? Uh, what do you expect? It has already gone to the government. Huh? What? Dr. Mike, why did you do such a thing? Uh, this is my son we are talking about here. You sharpened my teeth. Is it a crime for me to, to bite you with that same teeth? My friend, you have overstayed your welcome. Please leave my office. That boy is innocent. And so was I. So was I. I was innocent too until, until you brought me into, the, into this mess. Please leave my office. Now listen. Dr. Mike. If anything happens to my son... I said in my office. Empty threats. Empty threats. 
nós temos. I'm not aware of all this. Even this house has been used as collateral. We are to pack out of this house today. The new owner may come at any time. This is serious. I mean, this is a manipulation from the kingdom of darkness. Ah, this house is under attack. Ah, but what am I supposed to do? Prayers. Prayers. The, the, the prayer altar of this family has gone down. <laughs> Jesus is not in this place to have him. Jesus is not here. No wonder we see the handwriting of darkness all over the place. The Bible says that we, the children of God, shall not dwell in darkness, but in the light of life. It's better you reunite this family and rebuild the prayer altar of this family as soon as possible. Yeah! Oh, my Please. God! Hello, Nigeria. Hello? Yes, it's for John Sino. What? What happened to my son? He just screamed from his dream. I don't know. The blood was coming out from his ears. I've brought him to our family. I said I brought him to Dr. Mike's place. Dr. Mike's hospital. Ah, no, no. Take him out of that place. Come on, take him out of that place. Dr. Mike will kill him. Dr. Mike is a murderer. Dr. Mike is a murderer. Oh, my God. Hello, 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 you can't stay there. See, oh, you can't stay there. Oh my god, oh, oh my god. I have the right over your blood. And you have to release it to me. You don't have right mm. over my blood. Mm. Because you did not create my blood. Mm. You did not create me. Mm. I did not create my life. So, what right are you claiming? What right are you talking about? But your father can't sleep. Biologically give birth to you. To flesh. I'm blood! But you are not my father! Mm. You are not my mother! Mm. But this is the blood of your father. I have right to it. Anytime! Any day. And you are his son. So I have right to yours too. If that's my father's blood indeed, then 
I refuse to bear the consequences of his actions mm. because I'm a separate entity. Mm. I'm a different entity. Mm. <laughs> but his blood run through your veins. The blood of Jesus Christ mm. runs through my veins. <laughs> By faith, I convert the whole blood in me to the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm. He said, you need my blood. Mm. Then, come for it. Wally Shanga, you don't do that here, boy. Oh, come on, give it up. Hush! The Bible says, any tree the Father has not planted shall be rooted out. Amen. So says the good book. We are praying and we are casting out everything. Jesus Christ. I'm delivered. My blood is untouchable. Yes. I have in me my blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ runs in my vein. Mom? Oh. <laughs> Say this after me. The blood of Jesus Christ runs in my vein. Are you sure you're fine? It's okay. It's fine. Okay. I'm fine. Ah, no cause for alarm. Thank you, Jesus. Ma, thank you. we need more prayers. Okay. The battle is still fierce and raging. Oh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. for now, let's let's get him something to take. At least to, to calm him down first. Oh. Ah. What would you like to eat? Ah, thank you. Just look out to that. Thank you. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself.
reveal yourself, how I run you through. What do you want, young boy? I searched for a man, and I think he ran him here. Then I guess you are at the wrong destination. You lie. Where is he? Where is he hiding? I said, I don't know where he is hiding. Show your face or I change my mind. <laughs> Who are you? I am your old age. No. My old age is designed by God. Are you blind? Can't you see? Hmm? Don't you see how you resemble me? Father, I grew up without your love. I never knew I would see you again, Father. Oh, Father. No. What is wrong with me? I refuse to be manipulated. Who are you? Do you want to kill your father? You are not my father. My father died several years ago. You are a demonic manipulation. I refuse to be manipulated. Reveal yourself in Jesus' name. What are you saying? You speak coded languages. You chanted. And I turned. You chanted to invoke your demons. And I turned to invite the spirit of the Lord Most High so that the channels of my spirit can open up and you can be revealed. So therefore I invite the lights of God to reveal you in Jesus' name. You can run, but you can't hide. Why are you drilling me about? What do you want from me? I'm to ask you that question. Why are you trailing Mike and Kingsley about? How is that your business? When has it become a crime? For me to greet my family members. Family members? You mean you are related to Kingsley? And to the same time to Mike? Related by blood! They are married to my daughters! Whoever I have joined together, let no man! Put asunder, you dig! I guess they went in with your daughters and then you decided to make their lives miserable. But I have come to intercede on their behalf. They are your captives, but they shall be delivered. <laughs> You don't even know your kingdom well. There are principles in the kingdom of darkness, and there are principles in the kingdom of light. Go and learn, young boy. Is that not Kingsley's blood sample? Don't try anything rubbish. He's my lawful captive. If you try anything funny, I will spill 
his blood and he dies immediately. Oh no, you're dead in the body. Hey, please, Kisley. Please open the door. I need to speak with Mr. Kisley urgently. Mr. Kinsley, can you hear me? Say after me, my Lord Jesus. Say after me, my Lord Jesus. <laughs> my, my, my Lord Jesus. I'm sorry. Please. I am sorry. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Deliver me from every blood covenant. Deliver me from every blood covenant. <laughs> Uh, we need to pray. This is judgment. I can see judgment all over the place. This is judgment. But the Bible says mercy prevails over judgment. Let's, let, let's pray. This is judgment. The Lord must deliver us. Shut, shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. He will die. No, he won't die. He will not die. The Bible says he shall live to declare the glory of the Lord. He has transited from the kingdom of darkness to light. And so he shall live. The, the, the Lord of the flesh is in the blood of the sweat. Yes, I know the life of the flesh is in the blood and sweat. But the Bible says, whoever the Son of God shall set free is free indeed. He shall live and not die. Mercy will prevail over judgment in his life. No! no! Yes! He shall live. Madam, let's pray. The Bible says the thing that has to be Why do you want to kill me? Why does it break my blood sample? Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Set me free. If you kill me now, what will be your gain? You don't have anything to gain. But I have everything to gain. Can't you see? Can't you see that the beautiful gate is opened before me? Can't you see, Kuali Shanga? Can't you see? Here is the the Bible says the strangers shall fade away and leave their hiding places. The Bible says upon the wicked, the Lord shall rain fire, brimstone, and an horrible tempest. He said, this shall be the portion of their cup. And so I declare, every judgment of the enemy against the life of Mr. Kerslip will destroy by the blood of the Lamb. The word say we overcame them by the word of the Lamb. Uh, 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 why does it break my blood sample? Why does he want to kill me? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, okay? Okay? Release my blood, okay? Okay? If you kill me now, what will be your gain? I have everything to gain if you kill me. Can't you see that the beautiful gate is opened before me? Can't you see Kuali Shanga? Can't you see? That's all we can do now at this point. Mercy. Mercy. Let's pray for mercy. 
Don't claim not his soul. Claim not his soul. Receive not his soul. Mercy. Mercy. <sighs> Mercy. Yes. He's 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 Joshua. Joshua. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh the Lord has restored me. He said to me, Go and sin no more. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. 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 I think one of his patients has died. Uh, I think so. He must have lost one of his patients. Okay. Uh. I killed him. What? I killed him. I am a murderer. No, 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 my dear. Ah. You did not kill him. Ah. You didn't kill him. Dr. Mark. It was Debbie that killed him. Debbie was not captured. Yes, Debbie was captured. You are not the one that killed him. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, no, no. Hello? No, no. Oh, the agents. All right, all right, all right. We'll be there very soon. Ah. Oh my God. We need to leave now. The agent just called. We have to go and check the house as soon as possible. Let's go. It's all right. Ah, Doctor Mike. Gone just like that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, this is the house. It's a room and parlor. It has general kitchen, general toilet for the whole house. This you, it's not even a safe con. Ah, <laughs> Oga, okay. if you won't get safe con, you go add money. Oh. Ah, <laughs> you go add money. Oh. This place. Ah. Yeah, Oga, okay. if you enter now. You go see, say, you go where, where? You go, gun you. Ah. <laughs> Make we enter now. All right. Thank you very much. We'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. We'll get back to you. Can one go upon hot coals 
and his feet not be burnt? So is he that goeth into his neighbor's wife. Whosoever toucheth her shall not be innocent. But whose committed adultery with a woman lacketh understanding? He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. Wounds and dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. But Lord, wipe this one away in time. We are broken. Have mercy on us again. Restore unto us the years the locusts are eating. <laughs>